Hello everyone. Today we'll be solving the number of islands problem. It's a medium level problem. You will be given a 2D matrix of zeros and ones. Your task is to find the number of discrete islands. An island is formed by adjacent ones horizontally or vertically. For the given example, there will be one island. And for this example, this will be the first island. This will be the second island. And this will be the third island. First, we will develop a strategy to solve this problem. So our step one will be step one. Initialize all required variables. Initialize all required variables. Moving to step two. Iterate through every element of the element of the grid array this will be the grid array grid array okay. now we will move to the step 2.1 so step if grid if grid i and j element is equal to 1 we will be moving forward so first we will be doing so step 2.1 1.1 will be in the initialize all the required variable will be initializing a variable called count so in count is equal to 0 and step 2.1.1 will be incrementing the count variable to state that we have identified a new island and step 2.1 1.2 will be doing breadth first search on that element so grid and i and j while doing the bfs we'll be changing all ones to zero to state that we have encountered that island once and that's it now we will start coding the solution so step one initialize all the required variables so in count is equal to zero now we have to iterate through every element of the grid array so for int i is equal to zero i less than grid dot length and i plus plus and for the next one for int j is equal to zero j less than grid i dot length and j plus plus so we'll be iterating through every element of the array so we'll be going to step 2.1 so if grid i j equal to 1 equal to 1 Actually, this question is very similar to the Rotten Tomatoes problem. In that also, we have to do this breadth first search only. So, if they are similar, then we have to move with the step 2.1.1. So, increment count. So, count plus plus and do the BFS of bfs from that indices so grid i and j that's it now we have to write a function for now we have to write the function for bfs so public void bfs breadth first search in that we are accepting a character integer so grid and the indices i and j in i j generally we are planning to do the bfs in a recursive fashion if you have followed my channel you know that for every recursive solution there are two sections so section one will be the uh, base conditions it's a conditions where the recursion should stop and section two will be the recursive section this is a section where the recursive action keeps on going so recursive 
condition uh, the recursive sections okay so recursive calls okay so what all can be the base conditions we should stop our search if i is less than zero or i is above the limit greater than the grid limit so grid dot length for these two conditions we should exit from the recursion so return nothing and if j is less than zero similarly if j is less than zero and j is greater than the limit grid i dot length we have to return void return void and in this case we are uh, for optimization purpose we are doing an additional base condition that if we found an element to be zero no need of performing bfs on that so anyway it's not an island so for that reason if grid ij equal to equal to zero then also you can return return so now we'll move to the recursive calls first whenever we are seeing a one in the grid we have to convert it to zero so that we are not revisiting it again so to avoid revisiting in the grid so we are turning that grid ij to zero and we have to recurse on up as well as down this is for the vertical purposes and this is for the vertical connections and now we have to do for right and left for the horizontal purposes i mean for the horizontal connections right and left so we'll be recursing bfs the grid ij so up will be i minus one down will be i plus one right right will be j plus one and left will be j minus one so this will check the up connection this will check the down connection this will check the right connection and this guy will check the left connections so that's it we'll submit the solution this problem is very easy to be solved i mean if you understand how bfs works it's very easy you can solve it under five minutes so that's it initializing the count iterating through every element incrementing count whenever you find a one and doing the bfs on that location that's it now we'll run the code okay i forgot one thing we haven't returned the count of the islands which we have found so so we have to return count now we'll run the code again and the solution is accepted now we'll submit it actually we have done one more mistake that it instead of i less than i greater than or equal to grid i dot length condition it should be j should be less than the limit now we will submit the solution and our solution is accepted it is 99 times faster than other solutions it's a highly performance solution thank you and have a great day